This this video will be scheduled for a different day, not Tuesday, because there's a lot of things coming out on Tuesday, as you saw. But we're about five characters that are most likely going to be cut from Super Smash Bros. Six, and we won't be going over completely obvious characters because this week is all the echoes. But these are characters that are least likely to return based off historical precedent, as well. So these are five characters that are least likely to return. Number five is two characters, actually, and that's Cloud and, oh wait, this is not the full roster. Here we go, this is the full roster. Number five is both of the Final Fantasy reps. So, Sephiroth and Cloud. Okay, the reason why I have them at number five is simply because of Square Enix. Square Enix as a company is very, very, very protective. Not as protective as Disney or Nintendo. You know, <laughs> Nintendo does randomly taking it down to the soundtracks, but Square Enix also does the same things as well. Square Enix is one of the most overprotected companies in the world. And the fact that Sakurai was able to get two characters from Final Fantasy into Smash Bros. is pretty surprising as well. But why are they only at number five? It's because Cloud was never cut. Sephiroth was just introduced. And maybe Square Enix might have a financial benefit of putting Final Fantasy characters in Smash Bros. They also put Hero and Sora as well. Maybe all Square Enix characters were classified as number five. You know, including both Sora and Hero. But it seems that Final Fantasy seems to have the most dinziness to it. Because Sora was allowed to have a lot of tracks from Kingdom Hearts in it put in. And also, same thing with Hero. So it's just the Final Fantasy characters. Also with the fact that Square Enix might be is going closer to PlayStation is another big problem for these characters staying in Super Smash Bros. Because the fact that these characters are getting closer to PlayStation is pretty bad for the chances in Super Smash Bros. Number four. Number four, we have P2. P2 was cut in Melee. P no cut in Brawl, not Melee. P2 was in Melee. P2 was cut in Brawl, did not return in Super Smash Bros. For Wii U and 3DS, and it was only brought back to bring everyone back. I don't think Nintendo would want to bring back Pichu. Of all the Pokemon, I think Pichu would be cut first. There is no reason to keep Pichu in Super Smash Bros. Okay, none. You could add a newer Pokemon instead. Or you can add Aurora and Raichu into Super Smash Bros. That would be far more interesting than adding Pichu. Because Aurora and Raichu will at least have an interesting moveset with its... Oh wait, they made Aurora and Raichu a Pokeball Pokemon. The world's fate for any character from Pokemon. Okay. Because that means it will never be playable unless it towers out. Unless it towers out, then you get to get in Smash Bros. But almost everyone else who has a Pokeball Pokemon never gets into Super Smash Bros. So, yeah. Good work, Aurora and Raichu. You. you probably will never be in Super Smash Bros. Because Pokemon Sun and Moon, that was 3DS. Okay. They ain't bringing back anything from Pokemon Sun and Moon outside of Resident War. Maybe. Number three, Young Wink. So Young Wink was also another one of these characters that was cut from Melee to Brawl. And I don't see Young Wink returning in Smash 6. Okay, Young Wink will probably just be cut. There is no reason to keep Young Wink in Smash Bros. Maybe if they want to rework Young Wink and give Young Wink, you know, his powers from Majora's Mask, his, you know, his masks. But very likely, Young Wink is not returning. Okay. Young Wink as a character is not returning. Okay. They're not bringing back Young Wink ever in Super Smash Bros. Okay. This is a character that they're never going to bring back. You know, unless they want to make a Smash Bros. game generated by AI in 2050 and they bring back every character and it's generated by AI. But other than that, Young Wink is not returning ever again. Okay, don't see Nintendo having any reason to bring back Young Wink as well. Number two, characters most likely to be removed from Smash. So Smash 4 is probably, you know, we can't really tell because Smash 4 had a bunch of characters that had got to stay because everybody got to stay. But there are several characters that are like, yeah, fans are going to say they got cut. Number two is Lucina. 
We've seen as the second most likely character to be cut from Super Smash Bros. Considering the fact that, you know, we've seen it is very dust moth. But the only thing is they got rid of the tipper. Okay. They could easily just make Lucina just a costume. Okay. The same thing can apply with number one. Doctor No and uh, you know Number one. Oh, if I was to talk about Dr. Mario, number one is Ice Climbers. Okay. Ice Climbers is not returning. Okay. No 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 no, it's Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario is not returning. Okay. I do not know why Dr. Mario returned in Super Smash Bros. 4. Do not know how he got back, but don't think he's returning in Smash 6. Okay. There's so many new characters now they can put into the game. They, 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 they'll probably add, you know, all the, you know, great original 12 characters. They'll probably add Pete. They'll probably add Bowser, Zelda, you know, Moth, you know, Gandalf, Mewtwo, you know, Meta Knight, Mr. Gamerot's Pit. They're going to add all the characters that actually matter to Nintendo. Why keep Dr. Mario as a separate character other than Mario? Okay, what is the benefit of having Dr. Mario and Smash Bros? Also, you can also add Mario from the Mario movie now as a separate character from Dr. Mario and Mario. We can add Paper Mario. The Mario movie can use the power-ups from the movie. It can also have Chris Pratt's voice. It can also represent a movie that made a billion dollars. It technically be the first non-video game rep character because they added a character from the Super Mario Bros. movie. Or we can add Paper Mario, which is a far more unique character and represents a series that people actually love and adore. Why keep Dr. Mario in Super Smash Bros.? Okay, why keep this character? There is no incentive to keeping Dr. Mario in Smash Bros. And also, along with Lucina, I think we saw a mess in Quam. I think if Lucina gets cut, Quam gets cut. Both characters are going to be gone. Okay, I forgot the method Quam. But let's go back to Dr. Mario. Okay. But yeah, Dr. Mario, I think, is the most likely character to be cut. Because what's the point of Dr. Mario anyways? Why did Sakurai just say, okay, let's bring back Dr. Mario. Uh, you know, not Pete's you, not, you know, as well. Maybe, maybe like, it goes in Dr. Mario's favor. But I think that's will be like, really? Why, why is Dr. Mario in Smash Bros? He is really just Mario, but he throws pills. They can just easily make him a costume change. And he can still throw his pills. Okay, there was no point of having Dr. Mario as a freaking separate character in Super Smash Bros. Okay. And those are the five most likely characters. Or technically seven. But well, two of them represent the same franchise. Okay. And two of them are basically the same type of character. Okay. You know, as well. And we're going to go over some extra characters that, that will probably be cut as well. Okay. So... Yeah. Snake is probably not returning. I can guarantee you that. Okay. The probably cutting Wolf again. He didn't make it back in Smash Bros. 4. Doubt he'll make it back in Smash Bros. 6. The probably cut Wii for Train because that arrow of Nintendo's dead. Okay. They probably might keep Simon and Richter in the game. And if the cut and the probably cut Sora because of Disney, okay, and the probably cut Piranha Plant, okay. So I only add him as a joke, and also the Mies are missing. But I don't see the Mies being cut because the money makers, okay. And once the Mies are not featured on next in the Tales next system, but they'll still probably include them in Smash Bros. The probably just put a Mie maker in Smash Bros. And probably several more Echoes will be cut as well. But I just don't see Nintendo obviously as cutting Echoes for some reason. That's because the Echoes. Okay. I think the out of the most original characters, I think Snake, Saw, Wolf, and Piranha Plant are going. And the Refit Trainer are the most likely to be cut. Refit Trainer be obviously replaced place of Ring Fit Trainer. You know, you can have Wolf just cut because Star Fox is dead. Piranha Plant is cut because, again. Why is Paul? Why did they add it? I know it's funny, but Paul Plant in Smash Bros. and Saw because of Disney and Snake because he didn't return Smash Bros. Four. But outside of that, the honorable mentions, the most likely characters to be cut in Smash Bros. And bye.